ride it. Yeah, thank you. It's so just everything. And, you know, I, I write about my own life, my own experiences, and how I've been impacted um, by the things I've learned along the way. And so um, it's really awesome when it does impact people. I think that that's what this platform is for. I believe that this platform that I have is a gift, and it's not mine to use for my own glory. Um, so I like to tell people about how God changes my life on a daily basis and um, the reason why I'm still alive. And so that's what I write music about, you know. So you had this light I hold in October? Was that yeah, it came out in October, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, what was, the, what was the kind of theme for that? What did you want that to express? You know, um, all of our records have a pretty common theme that carry throughout them. We always want to be a band that offers hope to a hopeless generation, you know. I think that a lot of people come out to shows like this, festivals like this, and they're hoping to be in a place where they feel accepted or feel wanted or feel loved. And we want our music to be a safe place for people. We want our music to be somewhere where people go to feel loved and to feel accepted. Um, I like to write music for the underdogs because I've always been one, you know? And uh, just to let people know that even when you feel like you're at the bottom, you can come out on top. You know, I mean, just being, a, you know, growing up, I was always different. You know, I never fit in in high school or anything like that. And so finding the local music scene where I grew up and becoming a part of that um, really gave me a sense of belonging. And uh, I think that that's what this music genre and music scene is all about. And I think Warped Tour is a shining example of that. Uh, Jacoby Shaddix is a good friend. Uh, we did, honestly, we were at the APMAs. I was performing with Papa Roach. And they, uh, my manager had the idea for that music video and just like, kind of pitched it to Jacoby. And we were like, well, uh, should we do it? You know, so we reached out to Caleb Mallory, who's done a bunch of videos for us. And, he was like, yeah, I can do it. It's going to be really expensive, but I can do it. You know, it was like a whole movie set that we had to film that. Um, and we were like, all right, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. It's like biggest production video we've ever done, uh, but it was so worth it. You know, like it's turned out really cool. It's like a little mini movie in three yeah, minutes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a who done it too. Yeah. Because it's like, well, what? It's what, cool. Turned out what good. Happened? And I'm like, make a whole movie out of it. Yeah. I want to know what he did. Yeah. What did he do? Was it Danny or was it me? And what happened to me? Who was guilty? I don't know. We got, a, we got a brand new song out called Virus that just came out a couple days ago too, so if you haven't heard that yet, check it out. Yeah, making music and making albums is a very stressful process, you know, but the product that you finish with is so worth it that it doesn't really matter what you have to go through to get there, you know.